Well, Aaron, uh, over the last few Aprils, we've seen some pretty early freezes. And while plant experts I spoke with say they're taking in some of their winter plants, covering others, they're not taking any chances with tender flowers, vegetables, and fruits like tomatoes. Local plant nurseries and garden centers say it's better to be cautious planting things that can survive March and potentially April cold snaps instead of carried away too early. That's how South Pleasantburg Nursery and Martin Garden Center approached February's warmer temperatures this year. It's a yo-yo effect with, with respect to weather. You know, 28 degrees this morning, later this week, I'm going to be outside in shorts and a t-shirt because it's going to be in the mid-70s. The weather impacts all facets of a plant nursery's day-to-day, -day, from how many customers they have looking for plants to whether they have plants at all. Davis Sanders has worked at South Pleasantburg Nursery almost two decades, but says these last two Aprils have made nurseries like theirs even more cautious. In late April, the plants were full of sap. They were actively growing. They hadn't really been exposed to cold weather for, uh, for a few weeks. And um, when, the, when it dropped down into the mid-20s, it literally froze the sap in some of the plants uh, and in a lot of cases caused the bark to explode. And of course, that's enough to kill the plant. Most of the plants out now are hardier and have already experienced cold snaps like what we're seeing this year's first day of spring. While he doesn't recommend planting any tender fruits or vegetables before tax day in the upstate, he knows as weather warms, gardeners might get an itch to get outdoors. So uh, anytime you push the season and try to plant a little bit early, make sure that everything you plant might be portable so you can bring it inside if it does um, uh, get suddenly cold again. And if you can't do that, he recommends waiting until May 1st if you live in the upstate. And for those of us living in the mountains, he recommends waiting even longer. I'm sorry to you gardeners out there. He recommends waiting until at least Mother's Day before you start planting. Live in Greenville County, I'm Peyton Furtado for WYFF News 4.